Welcome back to Sports Plus as we begin our second hour. <laughs> we want to thank Erica Coulter from the Sweet Tea Bakery for being here in the first hour. If you're watching the replay on Light Tube Channel 23, you see this delicious dark chocolate fudge cake. Erica made it and brought it in. Our intern, not our intern, our social media guru Keith Kenzer has done had four pieces, so he's all hyped up with a sun drop bouncing off the walls. And we welcome into the program three members of the Motlow Bucks 2014-15 basketball team. Motlow will tip off the regular season a week from Friday, Halloween night, October 31st, Sneed State comes in. These guys went to Atlanta over the weekend and took part in one of those prestigious preseason jamborees. They won a couple of games, going to go play a couple of tough games again this coming weekend in Mississippi. To my immediate right is Daquan Miller. In the middle, Cottrell Williams. On the end is Reggie Williams. No, they are not related, as far as I know. But uh, three members of the Montlow Bucks, three sophomores, uh, holdovers from last year. Guys, thank you for coming in. Thank Thanks for having us. All right, Daquan, let's start with you. We're glad you're back, by the way. What school are you going to next? <laughs> I have made no It's time decision. to make the announcement. We're live on the radio. It's a television show. We're going to put it on YouTube. It's time to announce, Day Day. Where are you going? No decisions yet. I don't, I'm just sitting back relaxing, enjoying the process right now. I'm really trying to stay open to everybody, give everybody a shot, and take it from there. All right, give me a top three. I couldn't. I couldn't even tell you a top three right now. I'd like to select a few, but I couldn't tell. You. I like Missouri a lot. Missouri a lot. But you know, Missouri is just another SEC team that's not here. All right, right, right. <laughs> Cottrell, you know, let's get on to something. Cottrell, where, where, where do you hope to play next uh, after this year? Well, I mean, hopefully it's just better to go to another program like I, you know, I am here. Like play for a coach like Coach Sly, who care about me. You know, just you know, treat me like a you know, good person, just there for me, but, you know, go to a nice program where it's going to be a good fit for me. Boy, you you did a good job with these guys coming in. Reggie, where would you like to play next year? Um, right now, I'm just weighing my options out, too. Just trying to get into another good program, like Coach Slot, you know what I'm saying, take care of me and stuff. It's all I'm waiting on. You guys are great. <laughs> no, nothing there. I mean, nothing. That, that's perfect. And my other hat, as sports information person for Montlow College, perfect, guys. That's how you answer that question. So very good job. All right, let's talk a little bit about let's talk a little bit about Atlanta. Daquan, start with you. What did you What did you take from from the weekend in Atlanta? A couple of wins, but it's preseason. It's not much about the score. Your overall feel of where this Bucks team is uh, here with a week and a half to go before the season starts. Uh. I think I think we're way better than last year. Very very athletic. Got DeAndre six nine in the paint. It's hard to get shots on him. And just um, we got we loaded off the bench and on the starting five. So I mean we got guards coming in constantly that that can guard and really when other people come in, you're really not losing nothing. Um, but we came in we came in mentally prepared for the weekend. We knew. After that little first loss of the scrimmage at Bryan College, we had to get more focus and stuff like that. And we knew it wasn't going to be no play around games. We played Daytona State and then Georgia Perimeter. And we went down there, took care of business, and played our hearts out. And, and that's, that's top level junior college basketball down at, the, at these Juco Jamborees. It's not, it's not a collection of bad teams. Everybody's good down there. Cottrell, you come off a year where you were second team all conference, had a great year. Um, you, your body ha has changed a little bit. You've been working hard during off season. There's no question about that. What, what do you feel your your role is this year with this influx of freshmen, some really talented guys? Last year you're sort of a complimentary backcourt scorer today day. What about your role this year? Is it pretty much the same, or do you see other things that you maybe need to improve on? You know, pretty much. It's kind of the same, but, you know, as the year goes on, you know, being a sophomore, maturity comes into play. And then leadership, staying leadership. Sophomore now, a lot of freshmen, talented freshmen, a lot of talented freshmen being in leadership. We've been through the ropes before, been through the blood, the bath, you know how it is. So, 
I mean, with the talent we got with freshmen like Jalen Barford, real talent, Terry Hope, you know, we got transfers from D1, Clint Wosu, you know, pretty good. So, and with Klee coming over, also, that's a, another, you know, characteristic of leadership they have on this team. So, it's just leadership a big deal, a big thing, you know. You know. Reggie, how, how does a person get from Detroit to Lynchburg? <laughs> well, like, first, you know, I was just coming, like, just trying to, like, change, just trying to get a change of senior, you know, just trying to see something new. Well, you got one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't Detroit, is it? <laughs> nah, it ain't Detroit. <laughs> I just uh I just wanted to leave home really and just you know what I'm saying learn how to mature on myself because I always had maturity problems so I always just wanted to like get away from home help me grow up some you know what I'm saying so I can learn be in the real world by myself. How's that going? It's going good right now. I've seen a pretty big change in you in a year. I know Coach Sly and your teammates yeah. have too. Reggie, last year was not. It was not quite what you expected. Went through some injury problems. Probably didn't get on the floor maybe as much as you had hoped. Toward the end of the year, that began to pick up. You began to show some flashes. Tell me what you've been working on most during the off season to get ready for your sophomore year. In the off season, I just been working on trying to stay consistent because like, that's the biggest thing is just trying to stay consistent. You know, just stay healthy, just take care of my body. And uh, like last year, I couldn't really dribble that good. So like, I've just been practicing, like working on dribbling and just like trying to do stuff like with the ball more so I'd be like more of a threat. Mm -hmm. Reggie Williams, Catrell Williams, Daquan Miller joining us here. They're all members of the Motlow Bucks basketball team. You can follow their season at MotlowSports.com. You can follow game scores and updates and that sort of thing on Twitter and Facebook at Motlow Sports. And you can hear many of their home games live here on the Ticket Sports Radio. Daquan, are you a, 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 a action movie guy? Are you a, a you know a romantic movie guy? What, what's your favorite movie? I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't even watch TV. Game film, is that your favorite movie? I, I mean, I watch game film, yeah. <laughs> I watch game film, but I, I really don't be having time to watch TV. It'd be really school, basketball. I really don't watch TV, so I couldn't tell you. I, ain't, I haven't watched TV in God knows when, I don't know. The life of a student athlete is pretty full, isn't it? All right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Cottrell, you're from Memphis. Yeah. Went to Harding Academy, fine school there. But this Saturday, in Knoxville, Tennessee and Alabama square off, who you like? Oof. You know, uh, <laughs> I have to go with Knoxville. Like saying upset. Yeah. On the dog. Yeah. You ever Alabama? been to Neyland Stadium? I haven't. I haven't. But I have played against um, one of the defensive backs in high school, Todd Kelly. Put a nice little hit on him. I'm sure you <laughs> won't forget that one. <laughs> That's number six in orange. Was, starting safety for Tennessee. I was number four in linebacker. Yeah. Yeah. So you played football for Harding. I yeah. didn't know that. Reg, did you play any football? Yeah, I played football. Did you? Yeah, I played a little quarterback, but I stopped. Pop Warner, seventh grade. No, I played in high school actually. Yeah. Yeah, but I stopped. You know, tried to focus more on basketball. A good deal. Good deal. Now, you guys have got some more difficult scrimmages coming up before the season starts. You're going to go to Mississippi and take on Meridian, and also Itawamba, which is one of those national programs. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what, Reggie? What What do you look for? The Bucks need to improve on. You know, you got. 10, 11 days here before the season mm -hmm. tips off. What, what do we need to, to get better at before the season opens? Uh, I feel like like for us to just, like just getting better at it is like, like, you know what I'm saying? We know we talented from like the top to the bottom of the roster. So really like my biggest thing is just us just performing when we get there. Not just thinking cause you know what I'm saying? Who we are, that since we showed up, we posed a win. But like when we actually play, like play hard, like we did this past weekend, then good things will happen. And I ain't really worried about too much after that. Good deal, good deal. Now we're gonna talk more with Coach about this sort of thing. But I believe our conference is as strong this year as any year I can remember. And I've been doing this about 20 years. Any year I can remember, this conference is loaded from top to bottom. It's got the number one junior college player in the nation at Columbia State, T.J. Dunnans. Y'all saw too much of him last year. Uh, uh, 122, 121 overtime loss to those guys. I know that was tough to swallow. He just took over that game. 
at the end of it. Cottrell, what's different about this Motlow team that can contend with a great player like that? Hard. Yeah, hard every, every from the from the point guard to the center to even the, everyone on the bench got heart. Ooh, don't matter who in front of us, I feel like we can't be stopped. They don't care if you're the best player ever, Michael Jordan, TJ Dunn, it's not like got heart. Daquan, last question. You're returning All American. That doesn't happen much at Motlow College. Been a lot of fanfare around your life since midway through last season. Anytime you want, from what I've seen, you can score 40 points if you want to. It's probably not the best way for Motlow to win games. Best way is probably for you to distribute, get everybody involved, all that sort of thing, keep everybody happy. How do you, how do you make that balance in a game? This is a time when I need to, to, to score. This is a time when I need to get this guy involved. This guy's pouting a little bit. He need, how do you do all that while the game's going on? Instant, really. Been playing too long, so I'm saying I go, I go. With my mom, my mom tell me that's what I need to do. Pick this guy up. I need to pick him up. My mom tell me I need to throw the ball here, throw the ball there. But really, just I just been. I mean, I really get a feel for guys when when we playing open gym and stuff like that, and then practice and stuff. Just seeing what everybody can do and stuff like that. But I really it's instant, really. Guys, the Bucks are going to need leadership from all of y'all this year, and, and I think you're prepared to give it. We really appreciate you taking a few minutes to come out here. Uh, good luck, opening night, Halloween night. Good luck. Thanks. Daquan Miller, Cottrell Williams, Reggie Williams, members of the Motlow Bucks. Again, follow the program. They've got bio pages and stuff at motlowsports.com. Their head coach, Matt Sly, joins us after a Sports Plus timeout.